Recorded Books and One Click Digital present Silent Melody by Mary Balog, narrated by Rosalind Landor. Prologue 1756 It was hard to leave, but it was impossible to stay. He was leaving from choice, because he was young and energetic and adventurous and had long wanted to carve a life of his own. He was going to new possibilities, new dreams, but he was leaving behind places and people. And though, being young, he was sure he would see them all again some day, he knew, too, that many years might pass before he did so. It was not easy to leave. Lord Ashley Kendrick was the son of a duke, a younger son, and therefore a man who needed employment. But neither the army nor the church, the accepted professions for younger sons, had appealed to him, and so he had done nothing more useful with his twenty-three years than sow some wild oats and manage the estate of Bowden Abbey for his brother, Luke, Duke of Hamden, during the past few months. Business had always attracted him, but his father had forbidden him to involve himself with something he considered beneath the dignity of an aristocrat, even of a younger son. Luke felt differently, and so Ashley, with his brother's reluctant blessing, was on his way to India, to take up his new post with the East India Company. He was eager to go. Finally he was to be his own man, doing what he wanted to do, proving to himself that he could forge his own destiny. He could hardly wait to begin his new life, to be there in India, to be free of his dependence on his brother. But it was hard to say goodbye. He did it the day before he left, and begged everyone to let him go alone the following morning, to drive away from Bowden Abbey as if on a morning errand. He said goodbye to Luke, to Anna, Luke's wife, 